What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I just bought 200,000 of one coin. Um, I don't know if you can guess it. I always like to play this game to see if people can guess exactly what I'm, I planned on buying. Now, uh, just to give you a hint, I talked about it in the live stream. People brought it up. A lot of times I will see what they have to bring because there's a lot of coins out there. And for me to sift through everything um, and only see opportunities in the ones that I get, um, it, it's very difficult to do, right? I see opportunities in the ones that I have, but then I also see some opportunities in the ones that people bring to the table. So I wanted to talk about one specific coin, not really get into the use case too much because you know, as coins are sort of at these lower levels, here's another hint that it's not in the top 100 or even in the top 1000. So it's going to be very difficult for you guys to figure out what coin that is. Maybe you guys can take a guess and figure it out, but <clears throat> um, we're going to get into this in a little bit. I bought 200,000. I plan on buying more and letting that sit there for a while, as long as I make money from another token that I have. So uh, before we get started, make sure you guys hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one, and make sure you uh, check out some of the links down below. Also, you know what? I bought another coin that I was planning on making a separate video for, but I'm gonna talk about both of those coins in this video, mainly focusing on the first one that I bought 200,000 of. So uh, anyways, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys want to get by the dip coin, feel free to check that link down in the description. You will be able to get that uh, as long as you have PancakeSwap or you have Trust Wallet or uh, MetaMask, you can get it. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, feel free to follow me on Twitter um, at Perry8K on Twitter, and uh, you'll be able to follow me there and get all these updates. But <clears throat> without further ado, this is the coin that I decided to buy 200,000 of, just about 200,000. It's like 195 because I had to adjust the slippage. But um, the coin that I bought is Many Worlds Token. Now, I talked about this in the live stream, went over the fact that it shows potential, right? I understand that this is an early coin. You would be uh, jumping into something that's way too early. And I'm not telling you that you need to jump into it. This is why I didn't break the bank in putting money into this position. I do plan on getting a little bit more and holding on to it for a little bit longer because I know uh, it seems like this has a little bit more potential than what we're seeing in other coins that are out there. Now, <clears throat> We could see something pretty big to where it only gets to 10 cents. Um, we could also see something bigger where it gets to a dollar, right? We have so much opportunity that's out there that you really don't know what it will be until it catches fire. Fire? Fryer. I don't know why I said that until it catches fire. Um, but this is where the price is right now. It's at 0 0.008608 cents, right? Uh, it's at a pretty low level for how much supply it has. The total supply that it has here is 5 billion supply. Um, if you're looking at the total uh, self-reported supply, <clears throat> You're looking at 2.5 billion supply. Current market cap is at 2.1 million. Fully diluted market cap is at 4.3 million. So this is really, really low. This is a really low value to this coin that actually has things kind of established and maybe has it, um, you know, moving in the right direction, right? It's pretty new. It's nothing that's like uh, a year or, you know, three years old, right? It's it's pretty new, you know, um, you're looking at something uh, back in December of 2020, if we actually give you all the information, uh, yeah, back in December of 2021, sorry. Uh, so it's not really that old, it's pretty new, and you could see some of the high points that it had already, up to 0 0.001 cents, um, and seeing that down to where it is at 0 0.0008 cents, right? <clears throat> So why do I see any type of potential? Well, the first thing that I always look at in a position is the circulating supply. And the reason I look at circulating supply is because it tells me what the potential of that coin is. Then I look at popularity. Now the popularity will not be as high because it's only available in PancakeSwap. Now there, if, if it starts to uh, catch fire and it goes to other places, then you'll start seeing more uh, adoption of this, more uh, addition to different liquidity pools and whatever, and you'll start to see that that volume pick up right now the volume is down 67 percent it's down to twelve thousand dollars in volume which uh you're not going to see a, a crazy amount if you did the coin price would be a lot higher um so when i look at a coin like this that's in the billions and has a two million dollar market cap it's at a very very low price here 
it shows me so much potential just looking at this here. So then I decide to uh, look into some of the information inside the um, Binance Smart Chain, right? I wanna see all of the different detail, how many addresses are holding it, somewhere around a thousand addresses or are holding this. You have um, one, um, sorry, 16,000 transfers, almost 17,000 transfers. <clears throat> And the thing that I really wanted to check was the holders. I wanted to see where the holders were and uh, if we can see some uh, some movement there. Well, we have uh, two areas to where um, you're looking at basically, uh, you know, a liquidity pool, right? You're looking at 54% that's over here. You're looking at about $2 million worth. Um, but if you look at the single addresses, no single address holds over 1%, which is definitely a good deal uh, when you're looking into a position. <clears throat> And uh, just looking at about, uh, you know, 46 million coins that one person's holding, that's amazing. Yes, you can see it get up to a dollar and they'll be able to pocket quite a bit out of it, but it's less than 1%. You're not going to see it completely break the bank with any type of movement there. And that's what I want to get to with my coin is having everybody hold less than 1%. And right now we're at like a couple of people that hold more than 1%, um, you know, outside of me and, you know, the liquidity pools and whatnot. But that's the thing that I wanted to look at is I wanted to see if anything was anybody was holding more than 1%. And now you can see that I decided to get into this. I would love to hold a million and it wouldn't cost you a crazy amount to hold a million. And uh, it does show a lot of potential from here on out. Now, is it something that's going to automatically get to a $1 billion market cap? No, I could say that it's not automatically going to get to a $1 billion market cap, but it shows potential to get there. So seeing that $2.5 billion that's out there um, in circulation, uh, seeing the, the total market cap at that level just shows me so much promise. Now, if we look at the Twitter account, Twitter account, they only have um, you know 611 followers, which I think will increase. They did have an Ask Me Anything, which I, I maybe will do a little bit of a review on, but this is one of those positions that I decided to get into um, kind of with very little knowledge into it. You always gotta have those you know, spur of the moment type of things. Now, I'm not saying that you need to risk everything that you possibly have when plays like this. Uh, I always just throw a little bit in there. Now, I bought um, you know, 100 or 195,000 coins, um, which is around 200,000. I do wanna hold a million, but it really all depends uh, what plays out in other positions. But currently, I bought uh, 195,000 coins. Now, the reason why I say <clears throat> that we need to see other things play out is because I bought another position, one more position that I believe could be um, a pretty decent size increase that I talked about in my stream. And that position is uh, Suku. So Suku was one um, that definitely showed a little bit of promise uh, currently at its low, and we'll get into that here. Let me go ahead and search for that to show you exactly what that is. Now, um, the reason why I decided to buy this is because it, like I said, it does show a little bit of potential. If we go to all history, we're gonna see that right now it's sort of at its lows, and we can see it with a lot of potential, especially with the increase in volume, the total circulating supply that's out there of 119,000. This can easily go up to a level of $10 in the short term. This could easily go up to a level of $5 in the short term, right? You can see this skyrocket, and uh, currently I'm holding 2,000. So really, I only want this to go to $2, right? If it goes to $2, uh, I most likely will sell half of it take a portion of it and put some into other plays. I'll probably end up putting more into some long-term plays, but I'll also uh, put maybe a couple hundred into many worlds just to see where that can go. But it's playing with money that's, you know, left to play with, right? It's not money that's, that's uh, you know, my money that I started with, right? It's money that's left to play with. You know, it could be two thousand, um, you know, three thousand dollars that I could possibly have just based on that. So this is a position that I decided to get into, kind of a spur of the moment type of thing as well. I did a little bit of research into the circulating supply and and all of that, but we can get into that a little bit more as we talk about this directly. But the whole purpose. <clears throat> um, of uh, this coin and taking half the profit would be to put some into many worlds because they would give me a million tokens there. And I think that if that does show as much potential as I think, 
That can be an easy $1 million. It could be. I'm not saying it will be. I'm saying it could be. And it's tough to see some of these, but there's no way in hell that I'm putting, you know, $30,000 into a position like this or like, a, um, you know, many worlds. Uh, I'm putting, you know, a couple hundred in there and looking for something where I'm risking a little bit to gain a lot, right? That's what I'm looking for. So you let me know what you think about these two positions. Currently holding 2,000 of uh, Suku and and also uh, holding 1,000... Uh, 195,000 uh, of uh, many worlds. So again, this may give it a little bit of popularity. It may push many worlds up a little bit and push it over the edge of that 1,000 holder mark. But uh, you can go and check out, you know, the website and get many worlds on Pancake Swap if you wanted to. Um, but that's really what I wanted to wanted to show you guys. Let me know what you think about it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And if you guys have any other positions you want me to check out, feel free to let me know. I don't have too many on my plate that are these like, you know, kind of not like YOLO type of moves, but, you know low risk, high reward type of thing. I don't really have too many of those that have a crazy low risk and have a crazy high reward like this one does. Uh, so let me know what you're thinking. Uh, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you follow me on Twitter and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.